Are you ready to boost your investment portfolio with the best stocks of 2023? Well, you're in luck because we've got the top 6 blue chip stocks that are worth investing in this year. But before we dive into the juicy details, let's talk about something that every investor loves, dividends. In this video, we'll not only reveal the best dividend stocks on the market but also show you how you can use them to diversify your portfolio and maximize your returns. And if that's not enough to get you excited, how about this? These blue chip stocks have the potential to grow your wealth exponentially. So, get ready to take notes, because by the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of the best stocks to buy now. But wait, before we get started, we want to hear from you. Do you have any favorite blue chip stocks that you think we should include? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future investment tips and tricks. Alright, let's dive in. Number 6, Coca-Cola Company, ticker, KO. Sometimes the best offense is a good defense. Soft drink giant Coca-Cola isn't the fastest growing company. But in tough times like these, Coca-Cola's steady sales and consistent profitability provide relief for investors. Famed investor Warren Buffett has held Coca-Cola stock for decades, through its ups and downs, and has been amply rewarded. Coca-Cola increases its dividend every year and its shares currently yield a solid 3.1%. Shares are trading at a reasonable 23 times future earnings for investors buying this historic chip today. And the company should benefit in the coming quarters as inflation begins to recede and labor and packaging material costs stabilize. Number 5, McDonald's Corp, ticker, MCD. Like Coca-Cola, McDonald's is a great brand that sells a recession-resistant product. Hamburgers and Coca-Cola tend to be popular regardless of general economic conditions. The McDonald's global brand is also a major asset in stabilizing results. The company operates in dozens of countries, which means it enjoys revenues in dozens of different currencies, while having a natural smoothing of results in the different regions in which it operates. McDonald's also owns much of the real estate beneath its restaurants. This has proven valuable recently as inflation has taken hold. McDonald's real estate assets are appreciating, while its competitors are having to pay higher rents for the buildings they lease. McDonald's stock is not particularly cheap today, but earnings should improve once commodity prices such as beef begin to normalize. Number 4, Goldman Sachs Group Inc., ticker, GS. Financial stocks are in the spotlight due to the recent collapse of several large U.S. banks. However, it is important to remember that not all banks are the same. Indeed, while many are vulnerable to sudden interest rate volatility or loss of deposits, other banks can benefit from instability. Goldman Sachs is the classic example of the latter group. Thanks to its judicious capital allocation, Goldman Sachs was able to continue to generate profits during the 2008 financial crisis, even as most other banks lost big with bad bets in the housing and mortgage markets. Presumably, Goldman should be able to attract deposits and find attractive investment opportunities in the current market chaos. Goldman's recent agreement to inject capital into the faltering First Republic Bank FRC, is an example of the investment opportunities available to it today. Despite these strengths, Goldman has sold out with the broader sector, which now creates a buying opportunity. After covering the three first blue chips on our list, we want to pause and get your opinion on which of these two stocks do you think will outperform the other in 2023? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you're finding this video helpful so far. Alright, now let's move on to our top three blue chip stocks for 2023. Number 3, Microsoft Corp, ticker, Microsoft. One counterintuitive effect of the banking crisis is that it could support technology companies like Microsoft. Indeed, much of the decline in the valuation of growth stocks has been due to the persistent sharp rise in interest rates. Today, however, yields on key bonds such as long-dated U.S. Treasuries have plunged. The cost of money is falling. This, in turn, should make investments in startups and small technology companies more attractive. This should have an impact on the entire technology ecosystem, resulting in increased sales for giants like Microsoft. Between Windows, Office and its cloud business, Microsoft is an indispensable link in the technology ecosystem. As interest rates begin to fall, layoffs and furloughs in the tech industry should ease and a new growth cycle could begin. This would be great news for Microsoft. Plus, Microsoft is a leader in artificial intelligence, which seems to be gearing up for its peak. Number 2, Travelers Companies Incorporated, ticker, TRV. 
Another way to profit from the current banking crisis is to own financial companies other than banks. There has been a sell-off in everything from loans to fixed income securities as investors rush in. However, insurance companies like Travelers are in a much better position. This is due to the way they are funded. With a bank, depositors can withdraw their funds at any time, causing a crisis. With insurance, policyholders pay premiums over time, and then the insurance company invests those funds over many years before paying out the policies. This capital is long-term in nature, making an insurer like Travelers immune to short-term crises of confidence. Meanwhile, rising interest rates ultimately remain a positive for financial companies, despite the recent volatility. After all, it is much easier for an insurance company to make money with risk-free bond rates of 5% than with rates of 1%. TRV shares are now discounted, they have fallen from $194 to a close of $168.71 on March 20 amid the current uncertainty. And the number one, Visa Incorporated, ticker, V, Visa is another example of a financial company that can thrive despite the current banking chaos. Visa and its competitor MasterCard Incorporated, ticker MA, process the majority of the world's credit card transactions. This makes the dynamics of the industry attractive. The power of a global network connecting countless banks, merchants and individuals creates a significant advantage that sets the company apart from its competitors. Visa also enjoys great economies of scale, allowing it to offer individual transactions with low fees that fintech startups struggle to match. Investors might think the credit card growth story is over. However, growth remains strong, especially in emerging markets. The pandemic has highlighted the value of e-commerce, contactless payments and similar alternatives to cash. Visa stock can also benefit from investor turnover within the financial sector, selling banks and buying replacement stocks that carry less interest rate and balance sheet risk. Congratulations! You're now one step closer to building your wealth through blue chip stocks. We hope our top 5 picks for 2023 have given you some valuable insights into the world of dividend investing and how you can make informed decisions to achieve your financial goals. Point six. But this is just the beginning. Our channel is dedicated to providing you with the latest investment tips and tricks to help you stay ahead of the game. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our upcoming videos. We love hearing from you, so leave us a comment below and let us know which blue chip stock you're most excited to invest in this year. And as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.